Hey everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to be introducing you to the UI and environment of Crazy Talk 8. So we'll be learning how to uh, you know, create something cool like you see on the screen right here, our boy JP just idling in front of some mysterious planet. But uh, we'll be learning to how to create this uh, as we move along through the tutorial. So let's get started with the main menu items at the top here. So we have your typical file stuff. Uh, you can also do background music, import model, import script, and export your RL head, which will export to uh, iClone and RL Talk. And also you can send the head to Character Creator as well in your typical export video and image. We'll get to those in more detail in a bit. Uh, we also have our typical edit features, so your movement, rotate, and scale for your screen. You can also use the Home button to uh, go back to your character's original position and some other stuff as well in addition to your preferences here. And also your creation tools, so you can create all your eyes and teeth and stuff. And these can be found right here on the functional toolbar as well. As well as your animation stuff with the respective hotkeys on the side here and uh, your control functions right here and your windows and the help. Uh, so here basically we have the main uh, project toolbar so your new project, open project, save project and then we have like a preview as well F10 and uh, export video and image and you can export an RL head using the control H hotkey and send your head, head to a uh, character creator as well. And then we have all the creation tools here. So create new actor right here. This is a really uh, important one to know. And your eye settings and everything like that. Atmosphere settings is a new one with Crazy Talk 8 as our texture settings. And then we have our import audio, face puppet, and auto motion settings there. You can click and drag these tool bar, uh, toolbars anywhere you want on the screen here. So I can move them around like this. I like to keep mine in the uh, you know original position just because it's uh, simple. And then also you have the content manager on the right hand side here, which you can also click and drag load over your project, you can dock it over here, you can dock it back over here. And so that's your content manager. And then these are just basically the movement tools that I was mentioning before uh, in the edit uh, panel, right, or in edit, edit menu right here. So MRS, easy to remember, just misses, and then home. So M will be your movement tool like this. You can move your character around the scene like this. Ooh. And then R will be rotate, so you can rotate at 45 degree angles, left and right. And then S will be to zoom. So you can zoom in on your character like this or zoom out like that. All right, and you can also press the home button to bring your character back to the original position. So that's that. And then for your animation hotkeys, we have A, which brings up your auto motion settings. We don't have any auto motion at the moment, but uh, the P one is important. This is the face puppet and you can have fun, you know, pressing the space key to preview any sort of these uh, cool, uh, real-time facial puppet expressions here. These ones are made specifically for JP. He's got like a weird, couple of weird facial profiles there. Anyways, you can have fun on this uh, with this on your own time and we will have a separate tutorial about the facial puppet tool as well. So then there's AP and then there's K as well, which will bring up your face key editor. So this is where you can grab like a any sort of uh, facial feature and move it around like this. I can move his eyebrows with this one down like that and uh, it'll take his head and move it up like that. We can do also that's for keyframe editing and we can also press default key to bring it back to the original position but we'll get to that uh, in separate tutorials that's a whole nother can of worms that we don't have time to open in uh, this tutorial so then we have the l which is your lift editor for this is for the uh, visine uh, keyframe editing so we won't worry about this right now just wanted to show you that hotkey and speaking of other hotkeys we have f3 which allows you to go into your typical timeline so you can double click the timeline as well to load it over top of your project wherever you'd like. You can dock it at the bottom, you can dock it at the top here. Um, I like to just double click it and have it docked at the bottom myself. And then we have this option here to show or hide the play bar. So that'll just give you a little bit more screen real estate to work with there. It's useful when you have your timeline open just to have this setting toggled on. All right, and we close this down for now. And so for the timeline, we also have F, uh, F4, which will uh, open up your content manager and close it down. F5 will, uh, open and close your uh, project toolbar. F6, the functional toolbar right here. F7, 8, and 9, don't do anything. F10 will preview um, an image uh, on your scene right now. I can't use that right now because that's part of my recording software. But then also F11 will allow you to go full screen mode like this, which is pretty cool. And you can go ahead and uh, you know press uh, F11 and then press space to play your project and you can preview it in full screen mode like this. And then we'll press space to stop and F11 to go back to this view right here. And there's also the H hotkey, which will allow you to bring up your head scale. So you can scale this guy's head really large or really small. And you can also use the uh, little adjustments right here if you'd like. We'll close that down for now. 
So in the content manager, let's talk about the content manager now. We have all sorts of stuff here, all sorts of content. So your projects for 2D actors or 3D actors, projects will save everything that you have on the screen. Uh, we also have our typical actor uh, panel right here. We have 2D actors, which are the ones from Crazy Talk 7 and previous. And then we also have the 3D actors, such as Miguel, our boy Miguel right here. We can double click him. He's sort of like a uh, emo looking painting guy, I guess. Who knows what he is? He's a pretty mysterious fellow anyways. But uh, we can also just press this button here or control Z to undo our last action as well. And we'll take Miguel off the screen and bring back JP. He seems a little bit happier to be here. And there's also all the other um, 3D models here as well. And you can go back to your actor tab uh, by clicking here in the directory right here. Uh, we also have actor styles. So if we wanted to dress up JP with some different styles, we can give him, give him a flower in his hair, like uh, a, the Aloha male template right here. We can also make him into an angel, something like this. And the previous one that I was using was the uh, winter. There's a male winter. There's also a bunch of female templates as well. Um, you know, we can give him like a female uh, actor style as well. There we go. But I think probably the male is a bit more suitable for him. All right, so these are just, uh, you know, um, template styles that you can just quickly apply in, in, in a single click, or I guess a double click to your character. And then below that, we have actor elements as well. Now let's actually go back to actor style, and I'll tell you about a little bit about the display uh, you can have in the content manager, the display type. You can click this button right here, and you can select change view mode. You can get larger thumbnails like this. Uh, you can get more detailed uh, description like this. And then you can click and drag to, you know, enlarge or um, reduce the size of your content manager there. Let's just go, I like to keep the original one, change view mode back to the original here. And uh, we can have you know, a lot more stuff on the screen right there. Um, so we can work with that. And then let's go to actor uh, elements here. This is, these are the actor elements. You can replace your character's eyes, teeth, hair, accessories, and body. So if I wanted to give this guy different teeth, I can double click the teeth folder here and we can give him like a, you know, a kid missing teeth like that. You can give him like some pretty messed up looking teeth. He'll just flash us a smile. Every time you double click on a template, it'll apply a different, uh, he'll flash a smile and then show you his teeth. And the same thing for eyes. So if I double click on the eye section right here, we have uh, different comic eyes, for example. I can uh, use this kind of weird looking, uh, looks like it's a Android type eye or something like that. And then there's also humans, anime, monster eyes, um, you know, scary looking eyes. I don't think we want to give him scary looking eyes. And then we can also go to others. And this is the one where we have JP's original eyes. We also have Miguel's weird painted eyes as well. And Nasser, which is like a comic style as well. If we double click on that, you can see the result right there. Let's go back to JP's original eyes. And he'll give us a little uh, wink there. All right, from there we can go to animation. And in animation, we can double, or we just click on the root folder right here. And there's auto motion, there's idle motion, motion clips, practice audio, and voice script. And then we'll, we will have separate tutorials that go into more detail on this stuff. Um, let's just basically apply a voice script first. This is uh, basically um, animation, facial animation, that includes expression, talking, and audio. So let's go try something like the uh, bragging one here. You can't touch me, because I'm from the internet. All right, so that's pretty cool. We uh, you know, can double click one of those voice scripts and have it apply with expression and everything to our character. And the atmosphere uh, right here is also really cool. This is new with Crazy Talk 8. So the atmosphere I currently have applied is this universe right here. You can also choose something like this horror. And when we do that, if I press play, you can see here that the ah, lighting so what? and everything touch totally changes on the screen. We can go to a classroom here as well and get a classroom uh, lighting and the beach. Maybe he's not really dressed for the beach. We can go to uh, actor styles here and change him to the Aloha mail. So it's just uh, as easy as that to double click and just totally change the entire environment. Uh, so atmosphere is really cool. I think it's one of the coolest things with Crazy Talk 8 that you can uh, add. And then we also have background. So if you just want to change the background by itself, you don't want to change the lighting or anything like that, you can do that. For example, if we use this nightclub uh, background, it doesn't really look that good because we still have the beach lighting all set up here. If we go to the Christmas party one, for example, um, same thing. The lighting is a little bit too high. If, for example, if we went to uh, atmosphere and use the Christmas party atmosphere instead, you can see the lighting changes slightly. So that's pretty cool, the difference between atmosphere and background.
And there's also a cool new feature called Look At. So you can go to Edit and select Look At Camera. And if you select Look At Camera, you can adjust the strength of the Look At, for example, if we change it mostly to Head, and then we use our, uh, we close this down, use our R Rotate key. You can see he will look at the camera like this, do, 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 do a little dance like that. Or we can also go up to uh, Edit and Look At Camera and use it more like eye strength. So he'll still be looking at the camera. And if we rotate around like this, his head will remain stationary, but his eyes will be following us around like that. And then we can press the home key again to go back to the original position. So that's another cool new feature as well. Now we also have the ability for drag and drop. So I'm going to show you a, a quick uh, image here. I'm going to go to my desktop here and I have this dude, uh, image of a dude here. I literally searched neutral face in uh, Google images to get this guy. So you can click and drag this from your explore window from your desktop or anything like that and you can uh, bring it in and it'll actually ask you to create a new actor. So this is a 2D image so we would create a 2D actor like this. We also have the ability to create a 3D actor if we want. So uh, you have that option and it, you know if we went to like 2D image for example and it starts off with our uh, you know 2D um, face fitting process and everything like that. But we won't do that right now. We'll just go ahead and close this. And finally down here we have the ability to change from real time to by frame mode. And that's just basically you have some, uh, you know, physics in your scene that you want to, uh, you know, have a little bit more time to process. You can change it to um, by frame mode. We'll talk about that in separate tutorials as well. And then there's your wind physics as well. So if you click this, you can turn the wind physics on or off. If your character has long flowing hair, you can have the wind uh, blowing your character's uh, hair. And then your typical timeline stuff right here your music volume and your audio volume. If we turn that down, you can see we can't hear our character anymore. So if we turn it up, we can you know, hear our character like this. And this one here is for background music. So that's about it for uh, this UI introductory tutorial. Crazy Talk 8 is a lot of fun. I really hope that you guys enjoy uh, using it. And make sure you check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com and you can uh, exchange ideas, collaborate with uh, other Crazy Talk 8 users. And that's about it, guys. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.